what's up guys it's your most favorite potato back here with another scratch tutorial and in today's video we are going to be learning how to make a FNAF game in scratch so I know Halloween's coming up right so I thought I would make like some kind of horror game series also I've done like I don't know two or three tutorials like uh series on how to make a FNAF game in like the past they were so bad so I actually wanted to make a good one right so yeah let's get right into it so first thing we want to do is actually like delete, delete the scratch cat right then we're actually gonna create a sprite called our models right and basically we're gonna just design our animatronics right here so i'm gonna have like four animatronics i think and actually let's also go ahead and rename our project so i'll do like five nights at bananas because like that's the first thing i can think of and i'll explain how to draw an animatronic right so if you want to draw an animatronic just like i guess pick a color right and i'm drawing a banana so actually what i think i'm gonna do is if, uh draw a straight line right then i'm gonna take this tool right here and then I'm going to bend the line using this tool so it's way smoother, right? And that looks like a pretty good banana, okay? Well, okay, no, no not a banana, but like the start to a banana. Then I'll just do like the same thing, draw a line like that. Oh yeah, and if you want a straight line, just hold shift on your keyboard. And so I have like the basic like body shaped out here, right? And so then what I'm going to do is like, I'm going to do the same line trick for the hands and arm. Now this looks a little weird because this isn't filled in right now, but when it looks, uh, when the banana is filled in, it'll look much better. Okay, now I'm actually to fill it in, um, we're going to have to draw a square, right? And then shape it out with this tool again because uh, I screwed up and like the lines aren't connected. So Scratch doesn't know that it's one object. And it doesn't actually have to be that clean as you can see here because it, since it'll blend into that, it actually won't matter that much. Okay, and um, as you can see, I have that ready. So I'm actually going to take all this. We'll actually take this part, this part, and click the group button on it. So now it's actually, oh wait, and that part. Then click the group button on it so it's actually like one object that we can move around. That is our banana man. All right, and that is a banana complete. So I'm gonna call it um, banana, right? Now I'll create a new costume and then just create a couple more animatronics, right? So it's actually, uh, I mean, it could take some time, but it's actually not too hard when you think about it, so. I am done with um, all of these models, and this actually took longer than expected. I mean, cons even like considering the simplicity of these models. Once we have these models, I mean, these are just here to have the animatronics like ready and stuff. But now uh, we're actually gonna create a new sprite. And then I'm gonna call this warning screen, right? And I'll put like just a black background. Like, and then let's get some like somewhat white text, like that, okay? And then I'll just call this, um, I'll just say warning. This game contains a lot of flashing lights uh and jump scares um but yeah so what we're gonna want to do is do what if i clicked uh go to zero zero okay then we're gonna put a show 
set size to 100. And now, uh, we're actually also what I'm gonna do a wedding if I click forever hide inside of the models, right? Because we don't want the models showing, those are just for reference. And now, we can see we have a nice little warning screen. Um, inside of here, I'm gonna put a little text box that says, click to continue. And I'm gonna put that right down here, right? And then, basically I'll do wait until mouse down, right? Then we'll hide it. And now, what this will do is we start up the project and we can just click and it'll, it'll hide. So, yeah, what we'll do is uh, put a repeat 10 times change ghost effect by 10. Okay, now you can see it kind of fades out, right? I'll change this to 20 and change this to like five. So it's just slower, okay. Now in the backdrops, I'm gonna put just a black backdrop, right? And I'll call this um, warning screen bg like background now we'll also switch to warning screen bg and after this hides let's broadcast a message and call this menu okay so now what we're gonna want to do is uh this like whatever the name of your animatronic is and then menu right so this would be like the, like, you know how Freddy is over here in FNAF? Um, so yeah, that's basically what this is going to be. Now we're going to go into a model sprite, copy, um, the animatronic, go into banana menu, and then just paste it, right? Um, and I'll flip this guy, and then just put him, like, there that's where he'll be that's actually pretty good all right and there we go i'll call this one okay now i'll just duplicate this um make something like i don't know scary about him there i mean that that's like pretty scary okay like that and then i'll just duplicate this first costume and then make his make all of his eyes red. And so that's like our Freddy sort of thing. Okay. Okay. Now what we're gonna want to do is do when you fact click uh hide set size to 100 and go to zero zero. Now what we'll do is when I receive menu show forever which cost to pick random one through four right. Now, if we actually run just this part of the script, you can see him going bonkers, right? He's actually just going crazy. But, um, that, that's not what we want. So, we'll add a weight, right? We'll add a weight, and then I'll also do pick random, like, one through four seconds. You'll actually do that, but that, that doesn't look good either. So, I'll do, like, 0.1 to two seconds. Now, you can see that he do really weird things and i'll actually also put a weight right there and then put a switch costume okay so and i'll actually make this like even smaller make this even smaller now he'll go like really really cra like really crazy yeah okay now um let's create a new sprite call it uh, a new title and then go add some text i'll make it like relatively the same color as before five nights at bananas okay and there we go right and i'll do a when you like click hide it says size to 100 go to zero zero when i receive menu show boom okay uh click the green flag Boom, five nights of bananas, and then banana goes bonk. Now, uh, basically, 
we're gonna create a new sprite call it play button okay and this is literally just gonna be a button that says play so oh uh, we're gonna duplicate this right and I'm actually make a costume of this being like a green of this um actually I kind of messed up here this isn't supposed to be like that okay and this is supposed to be like that okay boom all right so now that we have that I'll just do a I'll just take this script right here copy it but instead of zero zero we want it to be like right here so those are the coordinates of where it should be right and I'll also make it switch costume and costume one now we'll do when I receive menu forever if else if uh touching mouse pointer then we'll switch costume to costume two else switch costume to costume one now okay. now oh wait we forgot to put a show boom okay so now we can see that we have our play button and it's liter it's glitching out like that so that that's not exactly what we want right so um our background is black i'll just make a black outline on it and then make it go all the way to back i'll make that square black right so then we can actually like hover over it without it glitching out now um hey and then we'll also put a when the sprite clicked broadcast news paper okay so guys i think this is a good stopping point for this video um so if you did enjoy this video be sure to like subscribe hit that notification bell and i'll see you guys in the next video but until then peace out